I didn't have brothers or sisters to fight with, but oh my gosh, like I can remember getting into physical altercations with my best friend, Jesse. I was a, an aggressive child. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure where it came from. My parents are very kind people. Um, but I was aggressive and I had some anger issues and stuff like that. I know, but I was like seven, like I'm talking about like little kid, like I didn't have brothers or sisters to fight with, but oh my gosh, like the Leones and stuff like that. Like I can remember getting into physical altercations with my best friend, Jesse all the time. And I was just aggressive. And I remember there were incidences on the playground at this like private school that I went to a little elementary school of like a kid called me a name. I didn't even know what it meant at the time, but like, I like fought him, like physically like pushed him on the ground and kicked him a couple of times. Like I had just this pent up, like, Oh, like I just like wanted to beat things. And I just didn't understand where that came from. And I was also very talkative and very outgoing. So to punish me, they would take recess away from me. And that probably wasn't a great idea because it probably just made me a little bit more hyperactive. <laughs> like there was definitely some attention, hyperactive issues that just weren't acknowledged because my parents had high expectations of me. It was like, yeah, that's not going to be an excuse. And it wasn't so bad that I was like one of the little kids like running around in circles, can't pay attention, but it was definitely more difficult for me to pay attention. And I kind of, I, my dad said that I started to get chubby. So in like third grade, he's like seeing his kid with like aggression, like getting chunky. And he's like, oh no, not going to happen. And like, he was like, I can't expect my parents to stop feeding her because they're Italian and German and <laughs> stuffing my face with cookies and pasta all day where he used to go load his truck for the day with um, what he needed for his pest control business across the street. There was like this elite level cheerleading gym. And then there was like a Taekwondo school. And he was like, well, she's not going to be a cheerleader. So like, <laughs> let's... you're a chunky. Yeah. <laughs> no, just because he was like not going to cheerleading events. Like <laughs> as a dad, as a spectator, he was like, yep, not going to do that. So he took me in and I like very specifically remember my first class and my first interaction. I remember like coming home and like, like just like jumping up on the bed where my mom was sitting and like being like mom look at these moves and like showing her and everything and I was so stoked on it and that was like June of 2000 or maybe 99 either 2000 or 99 and I just I fell in love like there was just something about it I ate it up I was good at it like I thrived and I had literally been doing it for like five months or four months or whatever and in November they were like you have to sign her up for a tournament she's got to go compete she's got to get this like this out of her system somehow because I was still like kind of crazy I was like Rah! like all the time like just excited about it and I remember I was a yellow belt which is just starting out like you get your white belt and then you do a belt test and you get your yellow belt um and I remember November I'm at my first tournament and I compete in forms and I get first place. And I remember being moderately satisfied with that. Like I was just like, nah, okay, but sparring. But like, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to spar. Like I was like, I want to fight somebody. But also I was so terrified. I was so freaking nervous. I was in the bleachers crying with my dad. And he's like, do you want to go home? And I was like, no. And he was <laughs> like, all right, then what are you going to do? I'm going to fight. It's going to be great. Like, and I was like, just that's how, like, just all this nervous energy just, ugh, it was just spilling out of me. I didn't know what to do. But I remember I was yellow belt. I got in there. They matched me up with the blue belt, who is my age. And I just like, I'll never forget. I was sitting next to her and we're going to fight. And I'm all nervous because blue belt's like, four or five steps up from yellow belt and I was like oh god like she's probably been doing this for a long time like what am I gonna do and she like is talking to me and I remember she was like I've been to the junior olympics and I was like oh shit and in taekwondo at that time it wasn't like a huge deal like that's what they called their national level event for kids they just called it the junior olympics but in my head I was like oh my god she's gonna be crazy and I got in and I beat her and it was great. And I won a gold medal 
and I remember looking at it and wearing two gold medals and I remember she kicked me in the face and I had this bruise on my chin and I was more proud of the bruise than I was of the gold medals. <laughs> like I was so stoked. I was telling my friends and all my teachers, yeah, some girl kicked me in the face, but I still beat her and I won and this and that. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun. And I became just legitimately addicted and I did not stop for about 15 years. Music